Oh, I think E has gotten a set or two. A set or two out of like 20 though. So like. This is looking like Venia's favorite for sure. Yeah, Venia, I got the experience of playing Venia for the very first time, actually just this Saturday. Man, I have such an appreciation for the way he plays now. It's crazy how he's able to just keep his, he, he has a, a very good list of things he does. And he just has the game down to a science really with this character. And the mantra pretty much goes safely space aerial on shield, wait for your opponent to overcommit, run in and just mash on him. He's got a good list of habits. Yeah. And he knows how to go down the list where it's necessary. He knows he knows what to switch gears, if anything. Like, if, if the opponent catches on a one option, he goes to the next. He's able to just keep that rotation up until um, he wins. You know, typically, Mr. E is a lot of the same way. But, like, Venio always seems to just outclass me. So I'm curious to see what Eric does in order to change things up here. Neutral getup is something I want E to watch out a little bit more for. Uh, Venia, excuse me, Venia excels at catching neutral getup with, uh, with dash attack every single time. It's basically a free uh, punish for him, and if he gets the right hitbox of the dash attack, he can actually link it into a fair. So you gotta be really, really careful about that when you get onto ledge uh, versus Greninja. So over the past few seconds, we actually saw, I think, what are going to be these best options in this match. Down tilt tech chases, I think, are going to be the number one thing because Venia, quite famously, doesn't use shield a lot. So obviously, a lot of shield pressure is going to make a lot of sense. But low profiling moves and moves that sweep across in front of Lucina's face, like dash attack and forward tilt, are going to be really good at just stifling Venia's pressure. And if you can't counter offensive him, you might as well just oh, tell him dead. less and less options. Hey, bye. Yeah, Lucina got kicked out of six flags. She didn't have the water slide pass. Unfortunate. I like these DPs out of shield by Mystery. Um, they can get a little risky, though, since Venya can really just reach the ground as fast as he goes up. Plus, like, Venya is very well seasoned against fighting E. He knows oh, to look yeah. out for the, 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 the Dolphin Slash, rather. Like, he knows it's a habit that's going to come out once he is pressured into shield. And he knows to just find the punish. Great parry, but Venia spaced that so safely that he really couldn't get anything off it. Yet, another aiding factor in this matchup is Greninja's low profile. I feel like it's it's just so great against Lucina, who will primarily get many of her punishes by jumping. I really don't see Eric taking any early stocks because of this. Despite how well he spaces that there. Oh, this man's insane. You're wild. You're wild for it. This man's crazy. I, there's nothing more you can say other than that Venia just seems to have this matchup down to a science thus far. He, he's he's really just been able to call out Mr. E on everything he's been able to do, and Mr. E can't find the answers to everything that Venia's doing. See, in situations like that, where E will swing on shield, if Venia knows he's safe, so he just goes for an option that E is not in a position to punish. And then even here, where we see these little interactions where E has the juggle on lock, like, racking up all of that damage, well, what's it gonna mean if Venia can just find a safe landing? Venia, though, Mr. E having a lot more stage control this time around as Venia kind of was struggling to get in before. However, has Mr. E offstage that back here. No jump left on Lucina. Manages to get back, though. Venia was a little too high to get the, the Hydro Pump correctly. Yeah, you can parry one, but you can't parry them all, my guy. Oh, that would have been cool. Rising? I honestly thought he almost had it. All right. Rising there is also just really good because I feel like Venia tends to hop from ledge a lot. He won't tend to do neutral get up too much. Great trade. Okay, Mr. E back in the game after after a, after a two-stock deficit. What he needs to do is just take all the momentum away from Venia. I know that's a job that's much easier said than done, but Venia is able to move so freely along the platforms and the base plat that, like, you know you're not going to be able to take every op option away from him. He's just too fast. So, like, okay. you got to sort of meet him on even ground. I love the jump to wait right there. He didn't want to get licked by the end of that Hydro Pump right there. Oh, great. Oh, <laughs> my man reeled completely forward. He felt that in his chest. Yeah, when Eric goes for the young dipping bird is when you know that he's, like, really in the mood. If he got the right read there, that could have been the end of the game. I'm impressed with how much Mr. E has clawed back this comeback. Oh, he gets it. That's insane, dude. Eric is crazy. He's just been swinging. He hasn't let Venia breathe yet. So even though they're going for trades, like, Venia's not really in a position where he should have had to trade. Oh, no. Unfortunate, though. Doesn't get the ledge trump correctly, and Venia's just a little too fast. Up throw. Yeah. Not going to be it just yet. Just grazing the top of that blast. And if he gets in the center stage one more time, Mr. E's might be able to close this out. Oh! 
great Jesus deal Christ. from Benny Ace. Keeping him alive at the ledge. What's the option there? One, it's a forward air. A bit messy. Wow. But it ends in Mr. E's favor. My man brought that all the way back. That was insane. I also love how he shielded at ledge too because Venio, as a last ditch effort, will go for Shadow Sneak sometimes and it can poke through the ledge. So that was excellent, excellent awareness by Mr. E. Great stuff, dude. Eric, I gotta commend him, man. For, for a player who has to play on his heels as much as he does, he always knows how to rein it back in. He's trying to keep his head in the game. Yeah. And keep the head in the game he did. He literally reeled back and forth as he did every single F smash. My man did the F smash. He was the sword. He's like, I will become the blade. He's like an Ace Attorney character. He just gets more emoted. <laughs> as his <tensions> grow. <laughs> All right, though, going to FD. I really wonder why no one bans this against Benny. I feel like more people ban. There's certain players that you could definitely stage ban. Like, you could you could, you could bully them in terms of stage ban. I'm sure that Mystery doesn't mind this stage. Well, um, he performs really well on Final Station. He's got a good track record on it against other, like, good players. But also, like, Greninja doesn't have a bad stage, really. Yeah. Like, in the Xeno stage list, especially with uh, no DSR, like, Greninja's able to just run rampant regardless. So you're better off just taking away the stages where you can form works. These low recoveries have been absolutely immaculate by Mr. E. Unfortunately, he's going to get shipped away during this. Like, yeah, Venia with FD, he's able to play more of his game. He doesn't have to wait for any platforms to mitigate through. He can just play 100% on Doctor and Raw and Neutral. And it excels in it because he, he's really good at catching your movement habits. Just either baiting you out to do something stupid or just waiting. That not spacing the fair, uh, the fair rather, safer than the shield. Did he just mash out of that? He managed to mash forward or out of the first hit of up smash. That's, that's RE, man. He's not pressing that A button. He's not pressing nothing. Oh, that was cute. Little interaction from Benny. I help him maintain the control. Unfortunately, it's wow. not going to last him for too long. This is where you getting the lowest back air I think I've ever seen in my entire life. He's been getting better at making sure that he's focusing his defenses on his low sweeping moves, which like you need to do against Greninja naturally because he's he stands fairly low despite being a kind of tall character. I love the attempt there by E to go super low. If you can steal Greninja's jump from him, there's certain points down low that he can't recover on, albeit they're very few. But any additional damage you can get off stage, especially with Lucina, especially with how fast Greninja is as well, is, is always welcome. He is just in the lab in real time. Like, there is, <laughs> they're both animals. Jesus. Both mashers, dude. They both know they want to swing. But Ugh. they stopped swinging for one second so that they could get the later swing. Great low dolphin slash right there. Even just to threat the tech right there. If they tech the wrong way, you can also get a guaranteed back off. And now E's stealing this game. We're, we're, we're seeing E one stock away from uh, getting into winner's finals here at Xeno 168. whole lot of neutral right now. I, I respect that Venia doesn't want to approach because he knows that Eric's going to eventually. But like he's not really in the position to dictate who does what when. Not with the deficit that he's sitting at, which is a very rare thing to say, but definitely the situation we find ourselves in that Venia is trying to crawl his way out of. So v Venia on last stock is always the most terrifying Venia to fight. And I, I want to explain that because he he has a switch. He turns it on for the last set and he starts to become a lot more reserved and his whiff punishing intensifies even further and his movement turns up to 100. He, he, he makes sure not to overcommit at all. He says, okay, I'm going to rain it back from, from trying to space fares on the shield. I'm just going to wait for you to mess up now first. But Mr. He's not having any of it. Uh, he's been not he's not letting Venia play his game whatsoever and he's been catching all these landings as well. Okay, though. Going to be some big damage here. Oh, all right. See, yeah, he's all great at catching those landings through those dashbacks, make you feel like you can mash an, uh, an aerial. And E might throw the game away because of this. Not yet. No. Managing to not mash a button at the ledge, I think, was Whoa! the best thing that E could have done. Scoops. As he effortlessly takes that game two and a 2 0 over Venia. Venia saying, Barnacles! <laughs> he was not happy with it. No, he wasn't. He was, he was Even the it. snake on his body was hissing. After that <laughs> one. Just imagine it changes. Like Maui. So it's just like, it grows grumpy. He was like, you blew it. <laughs> <laughs> now he's going to have to go to Orochimaru and, and get turned up. <laughs> My snake broken. I need to go to the snake <laughs> mechanic. <laughs> snake machine broke. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm pretty sure we'll see it work in getting grand finals, but yeah, for sure. with the, the rare instance of E sitting in potentially. Rare instance? How many Xenos has he taken? One, two? No, I'm just saying, how often does Venia come into grand finals from loser's side? Mr. Results Not poster. Often. I mean, remember that uh, when Venia was on his way to have the, f the first Xeno three-peat, that he came winner side grands. Has Xeno never had a three-peat? No. Not yet. That's our <laughs> curse right now, that's which really is funny. awesome. That's, that's a, a good great curse. That's a great that's curse. That's a honestly. blessing. And Are you so kidding me? We don't want consistent Venia winners. Venia was in winner side grands, up game one, versus E. Yeah. About to three peat, and E four owed him. And he goofed it. <laughs> Barnacles. He came through with the chops. Barnacles.